Junie B. Jones is a kindergarten student in Mrs.'s classroom. Mrs. has a last name, but Junie doesn't say what it is, so you can make up your own last name for Mrs. if you want. Mrs. says they're having a Valentine's Day party. A party? The kids start yelling about all the stuff they want at the party, like tons of junk food and chainsaw jugglers. Mrs. can't maintain control of the classroom, so she puts her head down on her desk and looks out the window until the kids stop talking. I've got a good name for her. Mrs. not getting paid enough for this. Argle Funk Book Review, Argle Funk Book Review. This review was commissioned through Patreon. Junie gets into a minor fight with her friend Grace because Junie keeps saying Valentine, not Valentine. Junie gets into a real fight with Meanie Jim over who is faster at cutting out paper hearts. Junie screams in all caps for four sentences until Mrs. takes away their scissors. Mrs. explains that you have to get a valentine for everyone in class. No leaving people out. Junie makes a fuss because she doesn't want to get valentines for the big fat stinky heads. Mrs. yells that yes, you have to get valentines for the big fat stinky heads! The entire class falls silent because the teacher is yelling about stinky heads. Mrs. rests for a while before slowly leaving to get aspirin. I know this is a joke scene, but I'm really worried about Mrs. Junie is the first person to bring Valentine's to school. She gets excited that she'll get a prize because she's first. But yeah, that's not a prize thing. Grace and Lucille get into a disagreement over who will get the most Valentines. Lucille thinks she will because she's rich and cute. Grace wins the argument because she has a snake, and boys love snakes more than anything else. Junie throws a fit when one of her Valentines is missing. The missing card turns out to be a big, beautiful card from her secret admirer. Junie tries flirting with various boys in hopes of figuring out who her secret admirer is. She's shocked to learn it's from Meanie Jim. He likes her, but he doesn't want anyone to know. That's why he's mean to her all the time. That and they both enjoy teasing each other. Junie agrees to keep his secret, and they run around the room trying to zap each other. Z -z -z. The end. Post-book follow-up. This is a funny book, and I enjoyed it. I could see kindergartners reading this series and liking it. There are a few jokes with the adults that kids are likely to miss, such as mom is sarcastic, and Mrs. is just humoring her students a lot of the time. I am pleasantly surprised at how entertaining this book is, because I remember disliking the first book of the series. I can understand if some people have a hard time getting into this book. Junie has bad grammar and spelling. Her narration is erratic, and it takes very little provocation to get her to start screaming. In the author's defense, this is realistic. Have you met six-year-olds before? They like to shout, and they get distracted a lot. Several other reviewers pointed out that this book is more fun to read out loud to kids than it is to read to yourself. It's a simple chapter book, about 70 pages, lots of pictures, just like Rainbow Magic fairy books, only a million times better than Rainbow Magic. I think it's also better than the Berenstain Bears' Funny Valentine, which has a similar story time, but that book has a terrible moral. This book actually has a good resolution. It's kind of sweet how Junie and Meanie Jim decide we're still going to be mean to each other. I give Junie B. Jones and the Mushy Gushy Valentine a thumbs up.